Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, honestly, do you like to argue? Oh, come on, you can be honest about this. I actually enjoy a healthy debate, okay? I grew up in a family where ideas were discussed and debated, and of course my dad always won, unless my mom was involved. But um, it seems in our world today that debate has become basically a reason to attack other people rather than discuss their ideas. And, and that's not healthy, and it's not helpful. And, and the really tragic thing is, what I've seen is that the church has adopted the way that the world demonizes opponents and brought that into the church so that when people disagree with one another in the church, we start calling them names and dismissing them as being evil instead of listening to their ideas and what they have to say. And it happens in theological ideas or, you know, when's Jesus coming back or how should we do ministry? They're just, it, it's, we have gotten ugly and I think it disappoints the heart of God. You see, uh, God doesn't want us to waste time arguing, uh, quarreling, even debating things that don't help the mission of Christ. Listen to what the Apostle Paul says. Philippi, uh, Romans chapter 14 verse 1 says, As for the one who is weak in faith, welcome him, but not to quarrel over opinions. He goes on to talk about something we don't wrestle with. Well, that was food sacrificed to idols and how should we respond to differing opinions. But he says, don't quarrel over opinions. Philippians 2.14, the Apostle Paul says, do all things without grumbling or arguing. Now, we love that verse when we apply it to our teenage children. But Paul is applying it to me and you. And then, of course, Titus 3.9, the Apostle Paul says, Avoid foolish controversies, genealogies, dissensions, and quarrels about the law, which are unprofitable and worthless. Avoid them. Can I just tell you, Jesus wants unity. He wants unity around his mission of, you know, seeking and saving that which is lost. He wants unity in our love for him and for each other. I mean, Jesus is the one who said, by this all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. So if we don't love each other, they're not going to know that we're really his disciples and we're going to make him look bad. Uh, that's why I think uh, the church in America has lost a lot of its power because we don't have unity in love. So at Calvary, can I just tell you, we don't want uniformity. You don't have to agree with everything I teach. Now, you've got to wrestle with what Scripture says, but in terms of how to interpret it or apply it, you know, like, I don't care if you agree with me. I just want you to honor Jesus. See, here at Calvary, we refuse to be unprofitable. We're not going to waste time arguing about things that Jesus says, hey, let's, let's move on and let's take care of the mission. So what we want to do is we want to be united in love and in the purpose of Christ. That's what we want to be, united in love and mission. And we're not going to let anything at all get in the way of leading people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus. The time is short, the need is great, and the mission takes precedence over your opinions or my opinions. So let's stop arguing, let's stop quarreling, let's stop debating, and let's start leading people to the Savior. That's my thoughts. I hope it blesses you, and I hope you have a great day.